launched in 2017 and the 20th ship in the Amma Waterways fleet, Amma Christina is named after Executive VP and co-owner of the company, Kristen Cast. She can accommodate 156 passengers with a crew of 51 and is currently sailing in the Provence region of France along the Rhone River. We have a vlog of this trip coming soon, so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe if you like what you see here and want to know more about the Amma Waterways experience. First though, we're going to show you around the ship that was home for us for seven dreamy nights in the lush and wine-soaked region of medieval France. You enter the ship into this stunning reception area with its bow-shaped desk and centerpiece staircase wrapped around a circular glass elevator that spans all floors, except the sun deck. This is the very hub of the ship where most public areas are accessible from. If you walk past the portrait of Amma Christina's namesake, you'll encounter a small cafe area with a self-service coffee and tea station and some cafe-style tables. Of this area is a small shop selling Amma-branded apparel as well as lots of quality gift ideas. The opposite side of the cafe and shop is a small library with flaming log-effect fireplaces and a selection of books and board games. Further through and you'll find the main lounge and bar, the centerpiece venue for drinks, live music and entertainment during your cruise. We love the lively colour schemes used in the soft furnishings, it's playful without being overtly loud. And the bar here also mirrors the bow shape of the reception desk too. Through the front of the main lounge is the Al Fresco Terrace and there's a small smoking area on the starboard side. Also on the starboard side are some steps leading up to the sun deck, but more on that later. Back through violin deck, through the reception area and the suite corridor to the rear of the ship and you'll discover the chef's table. A fine dining venue that seats only 20 persons, so although it's complimentary, booking here is essential. The chef's table features these beautiful wraparound windows to the aft, and an open kitchen where you can watch the talented chef prepare your tasting menu. Want to know what the food looks like? Well, watch our upcoming experience vlog. It's definitely an evening to remember. Just outside the chef's table is some stairs down to cello deck and more suites, which are all situated at the rear half of the ship. We particularly love the design of these carpets. At the end of the suite corridor is this lovely little seating area, an ice dispenser machine, available on all accommodation floors, and some public restrooms. Also on cello deck is the main restaurant. Which has a variety of seating arrangements, from private rooms off to the sides with large tables for large groups, to these rather funky booths, and of course tables near the windows affording great swan's eye views of the river. The wavy ceilings here are actually acoustic panels that help to manage much of the ambient sounds a restaurant creates, which is a great little thoughtful detail. Outside the main restaurant are these stairs that take you down to the bottommost deck, piano deck. As I said earlier, the elevator goes to all floors, which is great for those who find stairs difficult. There's a small corridor of suites here, as most of the length of the ship on this deck is taken up with crew quarters, but there is room here for a massage room, a hair salon, and a fairly decent sized gym. Amma are big on wellness, and there's a full-time wellness coach on board for daily classes on deck, active excursions, and gym coaching sessions. Let's go back to reception now and up these decorative stairs there are two desks, 
One is the cruise managers and the other the hotel managers, who are available for your queries, bookings and general help throughout your cruise. Let's go outside to the sun decks now, and we were impressed by the real teak flooring and steps. I've got a bit of a thing for real teak decking, and the detail here is virtually flawless. It's beautiful looking. The sun deck is vast at 135 meters long and 12 meters wide, and it's split into two main sections. The front, that's forward of the bridge, and the main section behind the bridge, stretching all the way to the rear. The front is called the lower deck because it's, well, lower and features these really comfy cushioned sofas and further forward from them, these tables and chairs. When the top has to be flattened to get under low bridges, this area doesn't have to be touched as it's already lower. Unfortunately, there's no shade here though. The rear area starts with this beautiful heated pool which was very underused on our trip. And it also features a swim-up bar, although that was never used either, which was a shame. There's plenty of seating options as you walk down the ship, and much of it has some sort of shade. Although, as you can see, because all this has to be flattened for squeezing under low bridges, there are times on your cruise where this upper deck is off-limits. It all depends on your river and the height of its bridges, of course. The Rhone was full of low bridges, and you can enjoy that with us on our upcoming vlog. The running stroke walking track is long and purposeful, as you can see from these lovely aerial shots. If you want to know more, please subscribe and click these links to continue our exploration into our lovely and recent River Cruise content. Thank you.